He hadn't even fought a contender, as we pointed out earlier. Uh, never mind a champion. And there he was, facing this crowd in England as a huge six to one underdog. That was a push. There's a little mouse underneath the left eye of Bradley. It hasn't created a big issue and probably won't for the, the spot, but it's there courtesy probably of a couple of those left hooks from Cherry. Tremendous frustration in the Cherry corner, obviously, with he and Peter Fernandez and uh, all the corner people. They just felt like if he could do what he did a little early in this fight and throw lots of punches that he could exchange on even terms with Bradley, but it hasn't been so in the second part of this fight. And Bradley uh, L adding to Cherry's frustration by making himself very difficult to hit. Stop, right, stop he's back. on his uh, bicycle. He's ducking under shots. He's so elusive. And a good countering right hand there by, by Bradley. Bradley could be coasting right now, but instead he engages. Well, you know, he's fighting as a, a, a guy marketing himself as well. Oh, that's good body work. By a pro who had struggled for marketability up until his last fight. And you are right. Stop. Well, that's no, no, very no. much to show that he can step to the next level in this sport. Bradley's so fast with those hands. Cherry with a little burst of, of confidence here. Moving Bradley back, landing. Oh, got him with the right hand. Bradley tagged with the right hand by Cherry. Let's see if he jumps on him with time running out. Here in the 11th round. Watch out, your hands are free. Best opportunity thus far for underdog Edgar Cherry, who's been down all night long. Seconds. On the canvas in round eight. It came late in this round, but energized Cherry. thrown and it made some headway. I don't know how hurt Bradley was by it, but he certainly felt the this impact of it. Go win this fight. Go out there and win this fight. Go out and go and get him, Edner. Go and get him. Ladies and gentlemen, All right. You hit it. Spirited crowd giving these two men a, a nice hand. In August 2006, Edna Cherry knocked out Daniel Alisea in the 12th round of an NABF title fight. He's looking for some more of that magic here against Tim Bradley. And landed a very good right hand again. He is letting his hands go, and it's making a difference. Twelfth and final round for the WBC Super Lightweight Championship. Tim Bradley has won just about every round. He had to cherry down in the eighth off the straight right hand of the head. Cherry just unable to get it going here against the speedy Timothy Bradley. Cherry fights normally have an ebb and a flow. There's often a couple of knockdowns by either side. And uh, you mentioned the Alessia fight, which he came back and won it in the 12th round. He's hoping to provide some of that drama now. Yeah, previously, all three times he had been down, he had come back to knock out those opponents. Stop, stop, stop. That streak is in jeopardy here. Very much so. Back up, back up. As Timothy Bradley uh, wants to hold on to that coveted belt. Bradley 
continues to slip that right hand. It did land, of course, toward the end of the last round, but for the most part, he has slipped that punch. And he told us he was very aware of that right hand by Cherry. That was one of the reasons why I thought the hook would land better for Cherry. And early on in the match, it did, especially in the fourth round, and then he just ignored that punch. Under a minute remaining in this title fight. A very tired Edward Cherry just leaning on Bradley. Doesn't have much left. And he misses widely with that one. No, 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 no. And the champion jumps right on her and pounds away to the body. You know, Timothy Bradley, one of the alums of our... Whoa! Oh. That was a slip by Bradley. An awkward uh, motion there. There is some moisture right in the center of the ring on uh, one of the logos. Bradley, one of the alums of our Showbox show and uh, one of the number of champions who came from that show and um, he clearly is one that could go a long long way in this sport looking extremely sharp tonight against season pro edna cherry the number six ranked fighter and he just goes to the body with an onslaught and finishes strong nice finish by tim bradley for a punctuation mark And he hears it from the crowd. Way to go, Timmy! You know, Timothy Bradley, as he looks to all four corners of this arena, he won over this crowd. They appreciated what he did. You know, Way he has go, no Timmy. geographical ties here or anything, but he's, he won over this crowd. It's a long way from the north side of Palm Springs, California, for Timothy Bradley. I was never hurt. And a long night for Edner Cherry. At the end of round 12, Bradley, aware of trying to finish with a flourish, ripped shots to the body. And you know, this looks like that old shoe shine thing in the amateurs that people do, but it was very effective and landed, a couple of those shots to the body were very good. I think that was more for showmanship for Tim Bradley, and right after that, he would look to the crowd and, let me go get, let me go get, uh, break give break their break. his appreciation back to them. It was never in doubt for Timothy Bradley, but a very entertaining fighter. And just in case. <laughs> A little last second praying. Both these young men, and you see them embrace. Yeah, they're yeah, yeah, yeah. good sports. Yeah, we can't be yeah. nervous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, we're going to see the decision. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, Thank you so much. Well, thanks. How about Tim Bradley thanking Edna Cherry? Is that sportsmanship? And Edna Cherry, one of the nicest people you'd ever meet in any sport. And, uh, you know, the, the, the punches and stuff that, you know, yeah. it, it's a fight, baby. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. You know how it is. Definitely. All right. Uh, very disappointed look on the face of Cherry, of course. It's just, I get a little careless. I get a little bored. Oh. Hey, what's going on, family back at home? North side of Palm Springs, stand up, baby. You got a champ right here. What's happening? I know y'all going crazy at home. Yes. We're going to shout out to Nature's. Hey, thank you for making me that pasta in the morning, baby. You guys are the best. <laughs> I want to give a shout out to Grant for making this fly uniform. So much for letting your fists do the talking <laughs> as we set it up for the official word from our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, David Toronto scores the bout 117 to 110. Judge Bill Clancy sees it 118 to 109. And Judge Raymond White scores the bout 119 to 109. All three in favor of the winner. And still champion, yeah. what? Desert Storm. This is my belt, baby. Come get it. Come get it. Come get it, all of y'all. Good job, Tim. Anybody, come get it.
So Timothy Bradley stepped up into the spotlight in light of the cancellation of the Campbell Guzman fight and put on a nice show with a dominating lopsided victory over Edna Cherry to uh, make his first successful defense of the WBC Super Lightweight Championship goes to 23 and 0. Edna Cherry unsuccessful in his first world title try falls to 24 6 and 2 standing by with our Jim Gray in the ring Jim. All right Steve thank you very much. Congratulations to you Timothy Edna let's start with you first. It seemed as though things were going pretty well in the first four or five rounds and then Timothy was able to get on track. What changed the complexion of this fight. Oh I just want to give honor oh, to God for waking me up.